In today's rapidly evolving telecommunications industry, fiber optic technology has become the backbone of high-speed data transmission. Telecommunications fiber optic technicians play a crucial role in installing, testing, and maintaining these high-performance networks. Employers look for professionals with a deep understanding of fiber optics, hands-on installation experience, and the ability to troubleshoot under pressure. This interview guide is designed to help candidates present their expertise with confidence and clarity. Below are 10 key interview questions, each crafted to explore your technical knowledge, experience, and problem-solving skills as a fiber optic technician. 1. What experience do you have with fiber optic cable installation and splicing? Interviewers often begin by assessing your foundational experience with fiber optic systems. This question helps determine how comfortable you are working with cables in diverse environments, including indoor and outdoor settings. You should discuss your ability to install fiber optic cabling according to design schematics and industry standards. Explain the tools you have used, such as fusion splicers, cleavers, and OTDRS, and how you ensured minimal signal loss during splicing. They're looking for someone who understands the physical demands of pulling cables, terminating connectors, and identifying fibers accurately. Also, mention any work involving aerial lines, underground conduits, or structured cabling systems. Highlight your understanding of safety procedures, color coding standards, and testing protocols. You may want to mention the types of projects you've worked on, whether it's residential, commercial, or data centers, and the fiber types involved, such as single mode or multi-mode. By showcasing your hands-on skills and knowledge of the installation process, you position yourself as a reliable technician capable of delivering precision and quality. I have strong experience in fiber optic installation and splicing, both in residential and commercial settings. I've used fusion splicers to join single mode and multi mode fibers, ensuring minimal signal loss. 2. How do you perform fusion splicing and what are the key considerations? This question explores your technical ability to execute one of the most crucial tasks in fiber optic work fusion splicing. Interviewers want to know your step-by-step -step process and how you ensure the integrity of each splice. You should explain how you begin by stripping the protective layers of the fiber, cleaning it with isopropyl alcohol, and cleaving it with precision. Then, discuss aligning the fibers using a fusion splicer, applying an electric arc to fuse them, and encasing the splice in protective sleeves. Key considerations include fiber cleanliness, proper alignment, avoiding microbends, and keeping splice loss under acceptable thresholds, often 0.1 dB or lower. Mention your experience using OTDRS to test the splice quality and verify signal integrity. Emphasize how meticulous preparation and environmental control can influence splice quality, especially in outdoor or harsh conditions. Finally, mention any certifications or manufacturer training you've received in splicing as these reinforce your credibility and show dedication to maintaining industry best practices. I carefully follow all steps in fusion splicing, stripping, cleaning, cleaving, and aligning the fibers before applying the arc. I always ensure minimal splice loss and verify quality using OTDR testing. 3. Can you explain the use of an OTDR and how you interpret its readings? An optical time domain reflectometer, OTDR, is a key diagnostic tool in fiber optic maintenance, and this question gauges your competency in its use. Start by describing what an OTDR does. It sends pulses of light through the fiber and measures backscattered and reflected signals to detect faults, splice losses, and overall link performance. Explain how you set the correct parameters, such as wavelength and pulse width, and how to read the resulting trace to identify reflective events like connectors or non-reflective losses like splices. Be sure to talk about markers, event tables, and how you use the data to calculate lost distances or identify bends or breaks. Interviewers want to hear that you can not only run the test but also analyze the waveform, determine if a link meets specifications, and take corrective action. If you've used OTDRS from different manufacturers, mention that too. It shows flexibility and familiarity with varied interfaces and features. I use OTDRS to detect issues in fiber runs by measuring reflections and losses along the cable. 4. What safety protocols do you follow when working with fiber optics? 
Fiber optic work can pose safety risks such as eye damage from laser exposure, fiber shards causing injury, or electrical hazards in hybrid systems. This question seeks to evaluate how well you prioritize safety. Begin by explaining your use of proper personal protective equipment, PPE, such as safety glasses, gloves, and safety vests when working in the field. Describe how you manage fiber waste by collecting shards in designated containers and never viewing fibers through direct lenses. Mention your awareness of the dangers of live optical signals and how you use visual fault locators or power meters appropriately. Discuss lockout tagout procedures when working near electrical systems and your adherence to local codes and OSHA regulations. Safety also involves proper ladder use, confined space protocols, and traffic control setups for outdoor jobs. A well-rounded answer will demonstrate your commitment to safety not only for yourself but also for your team and the public. 5. Describe a time you diagnosed and fixed a fiber optic network problem. Problem solving is key for fiber optic technicians, and this question gives you the chance to showcase a real-world troubleshooting success. Set the context with a specific situation. A connectivity loss in a campus network, slow internet speeds at a client site, or unexpected link failures during installation. Walk through your diagnostic steps. Reviewing documentation, visually inspecting connectors, testing with a power meter or OTDR, identifying attenuation spikes, or locating damaged fibers. Explain how you pinpointed the issue, whether it was a bad splice, bend radius violation, or dirty connector. Then, describe your solution, resplicing, cleaning, or replacing the faulty section. Finally, share the positive outcome, such as restored service or improved link quality. Use this opportunity to highlight your calm under pressure, analytical mindset, and knowledge of fiber infrastructure. A client reported slow internet, and I used an OTD or to identify high loss at a splice. I confirmed the splice was poorly fused, recleaved and respliced the fiber, and tested again to ensure minimal loss. Six. What are the differences between single-mode and multi-mode fiber? This question tests your theoretical knowledge, which is essential for choosing the right fiber for a given job. Start by explaining that single-mode fiber, SMF, has a small core diameter, typically 9 microns, and transmits infrared laser light over long distances with minimal loss, making it ideal for telecommunications and long-haul data. In contrast, multi-mode fiber, MMF, has a larger core, around 50 or 62.5 microns, and uses LED light, supporting shorter distance transmissions like within data centers or buildings. Mention the typical color codes, yellow for SMF and orange or aqua for MMF. Also note differences in bandwidth, cost, and connector types. Talk about modal dispersion, where MMF suffers more due to multiple light paths whereas SMF maintains signal integrity better over long spans. Understanding these differences is critical for installation planning, equipment matching, and troubleshooting. Single-mode fiber has a small core and supports long distance, high-speed data with low loss using laser light. Multi-mode fiber has a wider core and is used for short-distance connections, typically with LED light. I choose based on application needs, cost, and performance requirements. Seven. How do you ensure low signal loss during fiber installation? Maintaining signal integrity is critical, and this question helps employers understand your installation discipline. Discuss your use of clean tools, precise cleaving, and proper connector termination. Talk about managing the cable bend radius, avoiding microbends, and securing cables to avoid stress or movement. Emphasize your practice of cleaning connectors before mating them and testing link loss using a power meter. Explain how you keep splice loss under 0.1 dB when fusion splicing and how you document losses for quality assurance. Also, mention adhering to manufacturer specifications and standards like TIAEIA. Preventing contamination during installation is equally important, as even dust can cause performance degradation. Your answer should reflect attention to detail and a systematic approach to achieving high-quality results. I follow a strict process, cleaning connectors, managing bend radius, securing cables, and using quality tools for cleaving and splicing. I verify all terminations with test equipment to ensure loss stays within spec. Cleanliness, 
precision, and proper cable handling ensure optimal signal performance during and after installation. Eight. What tools and equipment do you commonly use as a fiber optic technician? A technician's toolkit says a lot about their capabilities. Mention your use of core tools like fiber cleavers, strippers, fusion splicers, mechanical splice kits, OTDRS, power meters, light sources, and visual fault locators. Don't forget consumables like cleaning wipes, isopropyl alcohol, and connector ferrule swabs. You can also mention items like buffer tube slitters, scissors, and jackets for outdoor installs. Explain your familiarity with tool calibration, maintenance, and proper storage to avoid contamination or damage. If you've worked with any specialized testing or termination kits for connectors like SC, LC, ST, or MPO, include that too. This shows you're equipped for a variety of environments and tasks. I regularly use fusion splicers, OTDRS, cleavers, strippers, power meters, visual fault locators, and cleaning tools. My toolkit is always calibrated and organized for quick use. I'm familiar with testing, termination, and troubleshooting gear across different fiber types and connector styles. 9. How do you stay updated with industry standards and fiber technology? Fiber optics is a fast-evolving field, and this question assesses your dedication to continuous learning. Discuss your participation in industry training certifications like FOA or ETA and online learning platforms. Mention reading trade publications, joining forums, or attending seminars and manufacturer webinars. Staying updated helps you apply the latest techniques, follow new safety codes, and understand emerging technologies like PON, Passive Optical Networks, or WDM, Wavelength Division Multiplexing. Employers value technicians who are proactive and adaptable. I stay updated through FOA certifications, vendor webinars, and reading industry news. I also participate in training when new tools or standards are introduced. Continuous learning ensures I stay efficient, compliant, and competitive in fiber optic work. 10. What do you do if you discover a major fiber cut in a live network? This scenario tests your response to high pressure situations. Start by stating the importance of safety and notifying your team or supervisor. Then, describe isolating the fault using OTDR or visual tools, documenting the damage, and preparing for repair, either by replacing damaged sections or splicing new lengths. Highlight your ability to work quickly while maintaining quality, communicating with network teams, and documenting the repair for records. Speed, coordination, and calmness are essential. I act quickly, ensuring safety first, isolating the fault with OTDR, and coordinating with the team for immediate repair. I splice new fiber or replace sections as needed, test thoroughly, and document everything. My focus is on rapid, safe restoration with lasting results. Telecommunications fiber optic technicians are essential to building high-speed communication networks. Their expertise in installing, splicing, and maintaining fiber optics ensures seamless connectivity. This interview guide highlights key questions to assess technical skills, safety awareness, and hands-on troubleshooting experience effectively.